92 Yankee at the basic level, you're responsible for you know, small things, you know, ordering supplies, um, managing supplies, stockage, uh, maintaining arms rooms, maintaining weapons. But at the higher echelons, the higher levels, most of your job is planning to try to predict the future of what your unit needs to go out and you know, win America's war. So it, it, gets, it, it takes a lot of intelligence, but it also takes a lot of foresight. You know, the best thing a commander once told me, or a sergeant major, and the commander told me was, get on the ground with the guys. You know, get on the ground with your soldiers, the ones you support to see what they actually need. So I did that one, one deployment. It was the best experience I've ever had. Um, I really love being an instructor. Like I said, the soldiers, they amuse you. So when you're having a bad day, they're going to do something to motivate you to keep going. I always have soldiers with interesting stories, you know, interesting backstories that kind of keep you going. It's amazing where they came from. The best story I had was a soldier who was a specialist. She was five foot two. Uh, she was born in Mexico. She migrated to the States when she was 17. Didn't speak English when she came to the States. Learned English well enough to, to attend St. John's University. And again, she's five two. She was a four year walk on player of a St. John's Women's University basketball team. She joined the Army uh, after finishing college. And the most interesting part was she was dyslexic. So when she spoke Spanish, all her adjectives were backwards. So sometimes she would tell me things and it would be like she was still trying to speak Spanish to me. But just amazing, you know, just amazing story of, you know, where soldiers come from. Okay. So let me give you I chose quick, this MOS so. because you can take your career anywhere. So it's open in the civilian world and in the military. You can go several different directions. And in the civilian world, I am National Guard, so I can use it in many different positions once I get out of the military or during while I'm in the National Guard. Sergeant Jenkins is a wonderful instructor and a great mentor just as a sergeant in general. He helps everybody with the different situations, whether it has to do with school or career questions or if they have questions about where they're getting stationed, I always see him giving great information. I really want to become a sergeant and even maybe one day go to officer school, but he, the way he talks about instructing and how he wasn't sure about it at first, but really has a passion for it now. And he loves seeing the soldiers succeed and move further in their careers. I think it's awesome. We're now GCSS Army system showing, tracking everything that we order. For well, our MOS is, is automated logistics specialist, which in layman terms is supplying the, uh, the Army forces. Well, when I first, of course, as any young soldier, I really didn't understand fully what an automated logistical specialist is. That was a new term to me. But as I read the synopsis, just supplying the forces, and at the time, working with computers was something new when I came in the Army in 96. So I kind of wanted to learn how to work on computers as well. Being an instructor, I think that is the reward of being an instructor. It's seeing that you can impact that when you send soldiers, or 30 soldiers as instructors that you have in your classroom, to be able to send those soldiers out to the force, knowing that you giving them all, all that you had and, and the excitement they feel when they leave, just like when they graduate. And you just feel confidence that, okay, these soldiers, when they leave this classroom, I, I know I did my best to send the Army the best product I could possibly do. You're giving back to the force. More than just your daily grind, out working, when you had opportunities just to teach young minds and, and send our army the army for maybe, you know, you're impacting the army for the next 10 to 20 years. So when you leave the army, you know that, hey, I, had a, I left my imprint on the army for the next 10, 20 years. And that's what I would say motivate soldiers, motivate NCOs to come be instructors.